Thursday, 62, and the time is 6 o'clock. Indeed it is. Hang Forget on. Pepper's Spay Crew, because tonight the BBLB crew's got a show that's more exciting than a night in with Andrew and the Watermelon. <laughs> we'll be discussing the in-betweeners of the house with Emily Ata. She's nutty for watermelon. Plus, she's got a voice louder than a Mersey foghorn. Rachel's back. <laughs> she loves it too. And Astro relationship expert Michael Knight will be revealing what's in the stars yeah. for our housemates. Uh, and we'll also have all the latest news on this week's nominations. So there's a twist, though, people. It, inv yeah. it involves this. Oh, oh, it's not nice, is it? never nice. But back to last night's show, the house went into revolt. Not over food, drinks, or even cigarettes. What was it over? It was all about a small glass ball, mm -hmm. or a multiple of small glass balls. Uh, if they can take away their marbles, they can take away anything. Too many men in here. It's becoming quite a manly household. I don't like John James. Yeah. I don't like him. See, see the Cooper has been nothing but nice to me, but I'm not sure if she likes me or not. She'll come over to me. She's coming now. She will come over. Look, she's not she saying will break that. So it's going to be a boys' out. Do you reckon? Don't underestimate us women. Mr. Pighthead meets graffiti. By day, age three. Mario is actually the winner. Yeah. Watermelon. <laughs> and watermelon. Yeah. Well, I have never fancied anyone in the house. I've drank a lot. He's done your massive favour by not drinking his drinks. I saw someone in this week in Corinne's personality that I didn't I didn't really like. Oh JJ, are your true colours coming out? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, nine out of ten times, our guests say their favourite housemates are Corin, John James, or Josie. But there are a few floating housemates who don't seem to be either front runners or at the bottom of the pile. We're, <laughs> uh, we're calling them our big brother in between us, and here to help us discuss them is in between us star Emily Atak and freshly evicted Rachel. Yay! How are you, ladies? Oh, hey, thank you. Good. So this is all about the in between us. These are who we think are the kind of floating in between housemates at the moment. But okay. Rachel, if you were still in there, do you think you would be on that board? Do you uh, consider yourself in Definitely, yeah, yeah. I was always thinking I was going to get kicked out every week. Aww. Yeah, definitely. Oh. <laughs> now you're finally here. Woo, <laughs> uh, so let's start with um, Mario. He yes. obviously went in as the mole, yeah. had a lot of attention, and then since then, kind of nothing. So what do you think happened to him? As soon as if he left, he lost his best mate, didn't he? And he's just right. been feeling a bit lost and he hasn't got like one click of mate to be like. So yeah. he feels like he's not getting much things to do in the house and he's not got much to occupy his mind and things like that. So he, he likes... needs more stimulation, you think? Yeah, definitely. What do you think, Emily? Yeah, I think the same. I think, um, especially since Ben left, maybe. Yeah, um, well, yeah. He was close to Ben and, he, you know, he's getting to that point. He's been in there a while now. Yeah. Maybe he's just kind of deflated a bit. And... Oh, poor Mario. Yeah. Uh, well, way back when Mario auditioned, uh, this is what he had to say about himself. I'm very f sort of optimistic and I'm always up for doing fun things. You know, I'm, I'm not the kind of person who sit around and moan and, you know, bleat and whine and stuff. It's, it's, everything in this place is artificial. Friendships and that. Maybe I'm the artificial one. <laughs> Uh, right. Oh. Oh. You feel sorry for him? <laughs> yeah, he was having a real down day that day. I think because he's got no one to flirt with in there as well, so he's got no flirty banter going on. Because Ben's left, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Um, on last night's show, John James said that uh, Mario was too much of a Big Brother fan. Do you think this is what his problem is? Um, I think you said earlier, you can't really be too much of a Big Brother fan. I think it can either work for him or not. Um, I think mm. from a viewer's perspective, people can kind of conjure up a thought of, well, maybe he's playing yeah. games because he knows what it's all about. He knows how to be But John perceived. James seems to be a massive Big Brother fan as well. Mm, I, I mean, he's come all the way from Australia he to go in the house. He knows you know I mean? everything about Big Brother. I don't yeah. know how. And he went for the Australian one as well. Yeah. The Australian Big Brother. He was desperate yeah. for it. There's little flies everywhere. Uh, right, should we move on to JJ? Uh, he's likeable, he's good looking, but somehow, I don't think... He doesn't pop out as a winner to me. Uh, mm. Should we have a look at what he said about himself? Yes. My name's JJ, I'm 23. The reason why I want to be in the house is to give everyone a bit of an extra boost, a bit of energy. Oh. 
He's so energetic. <laughs> um, was that what he was like in the house most of the time? You can see a little bit of him jumping round and like, woohoo! But I think he's under John James's wing a bit mm. too much. So once he gets a chance to get out right. and set himself free, I think we'll see a lot more from James. Do you think this is what's holding him back, his relationship with John James? Yes. Yeah, because whole... he's such a big character in there, especially with the Josie relationship. Yeah, I mean, I, it's so hard to kind of talk about people when, you know, they're all Rachel's <laughs> friends. It's like, I've never met them, I don't know. But yeah, as a viewer, I think he does need to kind of step away from other people right. trying to sort of bring his personality out through other people. He needs to just kind of do it for himself. Yeah. OK, right, let's move on to Steve. Um, he Aww. was he was originally the favourite. He's gone down to fourth now. Mm. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he's the only one that kind of described himself and has lived up to what he said. Have a look at this. I'm independent, strong, bit of a leader. I'm quite regimental. How do you see Steve's position in the house? <laughs> uh, he's, he's the big daddy. He's Papa Steve. Yeah, he's the big daddy, cool. Looks after us during the day and snores at night. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, think, do you think Steve can win? Can he, or can he make it to the final, first of all? Uh, yeah, he's, he's got all the potential to win in the world. Um, he's really likeable, he's a family man, which um, the audience will love. Yeah. Um, he's just one of those people who needs to... Uh, kind of come out a little bit more of his shell. Do you think anybody would ever put him up to his favourite place? I think people will put him up as a safe option because if you put him up and mm. you think that he's not going to go, so rather than you, it's like a wimpy way out, you'll go, oh, I'll put Steve up because I know Steve's not right. going to go, but they shouldn't really put him up because if he goes, it'll be such a shame. He's okay, such a it'll make guy. a big difference. Yeah. Uh, right, let's move on to Andrew. Now, he puts 100% into tasks yeah. <laughs> and then just kind of seems to fade into the background. Yeah. Is that what it's like being in a house with him? Is he quite quiet when there's he's, no yeah, big tasks he's, going he's on? He's quite quiet. He kind of sits on the fence a little bit. He comes in with witty comments and stuff like that, but I don't think, think we've seen enough of Andrew and what his opinions are on right. things and what he likes and what he dislikes. And So you wouldn't really have a clue with him, but okay. when he comes up with the one line, it's the all good way. Yeah, <laughs> okay, uh, we've got um, what Andrew wanted to achieve right here. I think the media needs to be shown that people my age aren't just drunk and lager louts. They aren't just all chavs. I know, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Bless him. What are your thoughts on Andrew, Emily? I think it's great that he's gone in there um, thinking that he's going to show that 19-year-olds yeah. aren't all like that. But really, it's kind of just... He's just being a 19-year-old lad, and I think he's learning a lot about himself that maybe okay. he didn't think... Maybe you didn't think he was like that. But OK, we've got, we've got to very quickly move on to Jo. Uh, this oh, is what Joe. she her plan of action was and what she thinks of herself. My favourite housemate is John James, cos he's a bit of a looker. Um, I'm going to tell you straight, I don't like John James. Yeah. I don't like him. <laughs> it's gone from loving him to hating him. Uh, you really wanted Jo in the house yeah, when you were picking I housemates to go her. in. Were you happy that, that you fought for her so much? Yeah, I was like, pick Jo, pick Jo! Steve went give a nod like that, so that was, yeah, she's getting in. She's amazing. You haven't seen enough of her yet. She's so witty, but I don't think it's getting shown much, but when she, when, when she does, you'll get to see the real Jo. She just needs a big, fine man in there to get her teeth into. OK, well, Jo is having uh, a bit of a hard time, and her hatred of the house has continued into oh, the night. No. Take a look at this clip. I do kind of, in some respects, feel like... Uh, fish out of water. Sometimes I do feel quite conscious that that it, actually the cameras are there. But me, myself, I don't feel that um, I have a particular role in the house. I felt quite sorry for her last night. She said, you know, don't... You want to be careful what you wish for, but do you think the house will change if she had walked? Yeah, definitely for the will girls. Will make a big difference? She's the leader of the girls, isn't she? She's always mm. there for a girly chat. She's got so much wisdom. She's coming from a place where she knows about things, especially because the girls talk a lot about relationships, yeah. past relationships, and Joe's just... She knows what she's talking about. I okay. just don't think... OK, so very knows. quickly, in the last question, um, are, are there any potential winners in our in-betweeners? Are there any winners dying to Steve. jump out? Steve? Yeah. Steve's got to. Steve's got to. I He's think... working so hard in there. Yeah. He's working so hard. OK. JJ's got a chance, but he needs to have more personality. He needs to up his game a yeah. little bit. Um, Emily and Rachel, everybody. <laughs> right, still to come, Astro relationship expert Michael Knight's here, everybody. Uh, he'll be revealing why the housemate star signs are the key to their relationship, and we'll have all the latest on the nominations. Uh, it's going to be messy. Yeah, yeah, it's good, but make sure you keep your grubby little mitts off it, all right? I want it pristine. Pristine. We'll see you in four. Woo!
Coming up, we'll be revealing who Davina thinks will be up for nomination, and we've got exclusive information on this week's Save and Replace task. But first, would you like some up to the minute house gossip? Yes! Yeah. Okay, here's the BBRB news. Woo. So, a warm feeling descended on the house at 11.02 last night when Corinne was called to the diary room with a Sam Pepper related task. You will need to go round to all the housemates until you have something from all of them using the letters of Sam's name. There you are. Red tie. That's God. And the red tie's off JJ for R in Pepper. Yeah, I'll so. give you my other monk's robe. Say oh monk's robe. Monk Good lad. Yeah. Monk for M mm in Sam. I got a little something hey. for ya. Hey. I got a little something <laughs> for ya. Baby, I adore you. Happy! <laughs> Yay, a happy house! Looks like the cat boy isn't in a bad mix anymore. Uh, <laughs> at 2.16 this morning during a conversation in the bedroom, Dave gave us an insight into his tactics for this week's Save and Replace task. I just want you to know, right, Mario up this Tuesday, right? <laughs> I tell you all know beforehand which way it's going to go. It's going to be done totally randomly, but I got a feeling it could be Mario. <laughs> I feel some of that old covenant judgment and severity coming on me. That's fine. An eye for an eye and a top for a top. <laughs> or a new case of button for a button. So will the monk be true to his word or will he show forgiveness? Now, earlier in the show, we mentioned that Jo wasn't happy and her, her doubts about being in the house haven't improved. At 12 o'clock today, she asked Big Brother if she could leave the house. Uh, just come in to say that I want to go home. Why is that, Jo? Um, just want to. I'm not enjoying the experience. Thankfully, she decided to stay and she took part in nominations, which means we don't have another walker. Yay! Yeah. Uh, right, speaking of nominations, at 11.05 this morning, there was a twist. This week, the housemates found out how nasty Big Brother could be. Housemates will shortly take part in a round of nasty nominations. These nominations will take place in the garden and housemates will be nominating face-to-face. -face. As usual, each housemate will be required to nominate two other housemates. However, housemates do not have to provide a full and frank reason for each nomination. In fact, there will be no talking at all. Instead, they must empty a bucket of nastiness over the housemates that are nominating's head. <laughs> I'm not getting my hair messed up. <laughs> The housemates have nominated and we'll be revealing those results shortly. Save and Replace is about to start. To keep up on all the action, go to channel4.com forward slash big brother. Now, as you know, we love a good expert here on BBLB. And it turns out we've only had one under our noses all along. He's worked on Big Brother since the first series. We know him as Squelchy, one of our riggers. But outside of the Big Brother bubble, he's known as Michael Knight, astro-intuitive <laughs> relationship expert. <laughs> Michael Knight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Michael. We, we love, we love Squelchy. Yeah. Michael, Thank uh, you, just so everybody knows, what exactly does a rigger do? Usually, day job. I take care of all the cables that go in for all the shows and take up, look after the camera moves. OK, but you're not Squelchy the Rigger today. I'm you're Michael, Michael Knight, today. the astro-intuitive relationship expert. What exactly does that entail? Well, uh, um, astrology is very, very important in our relationships and we can see the mix of the people in the house. Look, we've got a load of Earth signs and, uh, you know, that, that makes things... Kind of know, interesting. Yeah, because... They're very touchy-feely, and that's how it's been in the house. Right, OK. So. Let, let's talk about some of the relationships in the house and, and how the, the kind of astrology yeah. is affecting them. JJ and Corinne first. Corinne is a very powerful, fiery Aries. She's a cardinal sign, so what I call a boss sign. She's always going to be in charge. Yeah. Um, they see no reason why they can't have anything they want. And she looked at JJ, wanted JJ, went for JJ. She had it, didn't she, and girls? And she got JJ. Uh, she wasn't messing around. Yeah. OK, but JJ's not really into her. JJ's a mutable Virgo. He's a couple of notches down on the energy scale, astrologically. Yeah. And they're kind of funky Virgos, and they, they're very opportunistic. And he saw it. He liked Corinne. She's a sexy lady. he went lady. for he it. He went for it, but... It scared him off, and now he's scared, and what he's doing is just you kind know, of we've retreating. Got a little, we've got a little clip to back that up, actually. Have right. a look at this, guys. 
Kind of fancy, Corin. She's a nice girl. She's got an amazing body. But, yeah, just not my cup of tea. She's a lovely girl. Quite possibly. But she's a little bit scary when she starts going off at people, like she did her Sammy Pepper the other day. It, Michael, you were bang on there. He's scared off, right? Yeah, and... She's too powerful. Virgos are brilliant at constructive criticism when they're positive, but when they're negative, they can find lots of reasons to pick holes in to person. To back out of And it. it's just justifying why he's not chasing it. Right, OK. Uh, let's move on, of course. John James and Josie, we're going yeah, to talk the big about one. them. Um, John James, again, he's a mutable Virgo. He's kind of a couple of notches down from Josie, who's uh, a fixed Aquarius. He's very strong. But Aquarius is a male sign. And Virgo is a female sign. John James has not had a lot of male energy in his life. He's okay. been brought up by his mum, very close to yep. his mum. And he's kind of taken on the role of the, of the girl in this relationship. Josie's taken on the role of the fella. Okay. She's very strong. She lives on a farm. She's one of the lads, that yep. kind of thing. And so it's kind of topsy-turvy. But John needed her. He came okay. in looking for a mother's substitute. And is she substitute. getting anything good out of it? He has been so good for her self-esteem. She's got a little bit of an image problem because of her weight, and he has really built her up. Over the weeks, she's... Isn't that a beautiful thing, up. guys? <laughs> when she comes out, she's going to get so much attention. John James and her won't last, I'm afraid, but okay. Josie's going to have so much attention, she won't mind. All right, that's lovely. OK, let's talk about Sam and, and Josie. Sam's been an incredible force in the yeah. house. He came in, he was really having a pop at Josie, but they seem to have kind of got it figured out now. Sam came in as the negative areas. He was determined to headbutt everybody as he came in and make a difference. It was great until he headbutted Corinne, who was a, a stronger She's area. She's a big rat. And she headbutted him even harder. Right, but that's okay. taken the wind out of his sails, and now he's a much nicer guy. He's, he's playing like the, the young ram, and he's kind of a, a friendly, happy sort of little kid. OK. So and uh, Josie just loves to sort of be his big sister. There's a real friendship OK, so that's going to blossom a little bit, then? They're going to be good friends, yeah. OK, and then finally, what are the stars saying about Jo? Because Jo's now saying she... I mean, she's hardly done anything in the house, has she, really, guys? And now she wants to leave. What's that all about? Jo's been scorned in a relationship, I'm afraid, which yeah. has put her into a very negative Taurus mode, and that means she can be a little vindictive, trying to get her own back, possibly, on men. She's come in, she wanted attention, she hasn't really got it. And now she's kind of picking on the big guns. She got rid of Ben. Yeah. She attacked him. Now she's attacking John James. He's the same element. He's a Virgo. She's a notch above John James. Okay. So she feels very safe to attack him. Very quickly, one word answer. You've worked on this show from the beginning, Squelch. Is this year the last year of the show? Well, I can tell you, no. How about that? <laughs> Just leave it here. Michael Knight, everybody. <laughs> you are the man. Now... As you know, Monday is Nominations Day. Will it be a clean sweep for Sam or has he ground our housemates down? Here's what Davina thought. So, my prediction for nominations this week would be... John James, Sam Pepper... ..and controversially, in no particular order, Josie, put that in your pipe and smoke it. So we'll see if Davina's right in just a minute, but as we mentioned in the news, this week's nominations have a nasty twist. They've nominated by throwing buckets of horrible stuff over their chosen two. Here's a sneak peek at the people that received the most nominations. <laughs> I was going to duck down. Just... Repay me for last week. <laughs> Keep going. Make sure you get it all out. It's OK, babe. Yeah! <laughs> oh, the just over. Yeah. yeah. So, Mario, JJ, Dave and Joe felt the wrath of their fellow housemates. But it didn't, it didn't end there uh, because the housemates are doing the save and replace task as we speak. However, as a punishment for discussing nominations again, Dave was not allowed to take part in save and replace. Poor little and thing. And is automatically yeah. up thing. for eviction! Oh. Um, now, Josie nominated JJ. Are you not a little bit surprised? I'm by that. really surprised because they're dead close, aren't they? It's yeah. 
He really the fit into that group when he, you know, well, the way she nominated him. Traitor, you're so right about that, Jack. You're so right about that. <laughs> uh, Dave's up again. <laughs> Rachel, uh, has he used all his lives up, do you think? Um, I hope not. I absolutely love Dave, and if he goes out that house, what will happen in there? He's the most funniest person in there. Everyone loves him. The whole house revolves around him in there. Right. Don't know if you see it on TV, but he is. He's so funny. Uh, now, Emily, John James and Josie didn't receive any nominations, mm. which I'm not surprised about Josie, but John James has been receiving them, like, for weeks. Yeah. Do you think it's because they're doing it publicly, face-to-face, -face, that people have just changed their, their strategy? Maybe. Uh, it's just getting to that point now where... I literally would not be able to guess any week who's going to be up. Um, so, but I thought Josie and John James would get more nominations because of how they're just together constantly. And yeah. They're too powerful they're in the house. In bed, though. Uh, they're not Michael, too much uh, what are the stars yeah. saying? Who do you predict is going to go? It's got to be the downstream fish, Mario. He's really oh, negative at the really? moment. Really? I really think that's going to come on for him, yeah. All oh, right, Mario's time might be up, guys. Yeah. Hey, how about that? Uh, all right, listen, thank you very much, everybody. Uh, that's it for today. A huge yeah. thank you to all our guests. We'll be back tomorrow when we'll be joined by comedian Eddie Caddy. Plus, we'll be looking at the fallout of the save and replace results. Uh, don't forget to catch the main show tonight on Channel 4 at 10 o'clock. And for the latest news on how the housemates are coping with the nominations, go to channel4.com forward slash Big Brother. Give us that watermelon.